Good morning, my fellow traders. My name is Michalis and I'm one of the market analysts here. And I'd like to welcome everybody to another live trading session. Today, we're going to be looking at gold because there's been a lot of volatility and some changes within the market, which has supported the price. And it has, for the very first time this week, increased the price above the trend line, above the price sentiment line, and above the neutral level on the RSI. So of course we need to take now into consideration previous resistance points, which we can look at as potential targets now that have seen a low momentum and there's aspects of the economy supporting the price of gold. Now, what changes have we seen? We've definitely seen that job vacancies in America have dropped as of yesterday to their lowest point in more than three years, almost three and a half years. It was significantly lower than expected. So we're now in a scenario that if today's economic data from the US and tomorrow's employment data is lower, then we're almost certainly going to see on the table potentially a 50 basis point rate cut. Now that is negative for the US dollar, but it can be significantly positive for gold. Now, if we look at the price of gold, we can see for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, that we've seen a low here, and now we've got a lower low. Whereas previously, we were seeing lower lows and lower highs. Now, we've got two lows, but the most recent low is higher. So we've got higher lows, and here, ladies and gentlemen, we can see there's also now a higher high. So this is what is generally looked at to establish a potential trend. And we can see we're above the trend line here, which is basically a 75 period exponential moving average. And we're also above the price sentiment indicator here. And it's the first time that, like I've said, the first time we've seen that for more than a week. Now we can take into consideration two resistant levels. Now, of course, we've got the higher resistant level, which on average is at this point. And we can see we've found resistance at that level for one, two, three, four, five occasions. Or we can take into consideration the lower uh, resistance level, in which case we're looking at four occasions that it's found resistance at that level. So if we are going to see the price of gold increase, we know that based on past price data, which of course isn't guaranteed for future price movement, but based on past price data, it can potentially reach that level. Now, what a lot of people do is if they want to speculate the outward price movement, is they don't aim for the whole price movement, but they will try and lower their targets just in case it's not able to reach that level. So, for example, between the current price and the most re the closest resistance level, we're looking at 0 0.50. So what individuals potentially may look to do is look at 75% of that and put their target, for example, at the 0.35 level, in which case the stop the take profit is slightly lower at this level. The second level, ladies and gentlemen, is here, in which case we're looking at uh, 0.75. Again, we can look at 75% of that, which will bring the targets down to here, ladies and gentlemen. So those are two potential targets that we can take into consideration in the longer term. But what about the shorter term? For the shorter term, ladies and gentlemen, we can see that, again, we're above the trend line, we're above the price level, and we're the price sentiment level, and we're also above the 50 on the RSI. So between the 50 and 75, which is indicating that buyers are gaining control of the market. Now, if we look at the price at the moment, we've just crossed, ladies and gentlemen, above the breakout level here and above this breakout level here. Now, if we break above this again and we're very, very close to reaching and breaking above that, then again, we can take into consideration a potential upward price move for throughout the day. Now, the other thing which is slightly concerning is that we're significantly higher than the previous high, and we've already seen a lot of upward price movements over the past few hours. It's already increased this morning, ladies and gentlemen, by more than half a percent. Now, when we see a lot of volatility factors, sometimes we do see a correction or a retracement. So if people aren't going to enter at that level, or if they do enter that at that level, but the price moves in the opposite direction and also a retracement, then what can individuals do? 
they can look at the high and they can look at the low of the retracement, they can add the Fibonacci levels, and also as the price increases above the 65 points on the Fibonacci retracement, which you can see on my screen, if it increases above that, then you can take into consideration either your first buy signal or a secondary buy signal. But if you are going to see a larger retracement or a full correction, so for example, if today's ADP employment change is higher than expected, the ISM uh, services PMI is also higher than expected. So if you get some positive data, in which case the price of gold may suddenly correct, then of course we can take into consideration the alternative. If the price drops below our trend line here, so here we can see we've got our trend line, if it drops below this level, then we can take into consideration sell trades potentially as well. Uh, in regards to sell trades, we can look at different uh, take profits. For example, we have a potential take profit here at the 125 level and the 165 level here as well. So these are potential take profits that you can take into consideration based on the Fibonacci indication. So that's something you can, of course, take into consideration. So we've looked at gold today. Uh, we've looked at why it's gaining momentum. It's gaining momentum because, of course, uh, US job uh, vacancies have significantly declined, the lowest in almost three and a half years. Uh, we've looked at if we are going to see an upward price movement continue, where are we going to get a signal for that? Where potentially we can put uh, our take profits. Of course, we need to take into consideration our stop losses as well, based on, of course, our re reward to risk ratio. But if we see a different type of price movement, which is, of course, always uh, possible, and we always need to be prepared no matter what type of price movement we're going to see. Uh, if we do see a different type of price movement, we have an alternative signal as well. Now, if individuals do not want to look at technical analysis, and look at trading on their own, they can also take into consideration our copy trading platform. There is many, many strategy providers on our copy trading platform which provide different strategies and you can copy their trades. So that is also an option. We will leave a link in the description section below. And of course, you can check that out. In the meantime, though, of course, trade safely, trade responsibly. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll catch you soon on our next live trading session. In the meantime, 